You guys have been asking me to review this for over two years now, literally, and it's finally here. Everyone has been begging me, absolutely begging the shit out of me for over two years to review this stuff and we're finally doing it. What are we reviewing today? We're reviewing... What the fuck? Today we're reviewing... Redman Golden Blend. That's right. Obviously it's Joey Let's Dippin'. I dip, primarily, but I do love me a good chew every once in a while. And uh, the, the chew selection around here is pretty skewed. You know, there's not a lot, but they have Redman Original and Redman Golden Blend. And I did a Redman Original review in 2011, 2012. I'm not 100% sure. And now, finally, after two years of begging, Redman Golden Blend. Let's take a look at the presentation. I think it looks nice. It looks kind of rustic. It looks old-fashioned. I don't think the design has changed that much over the years, other than this but um it, yeah it just has a nice simple design it's simplified it looks nice just like the original red uh red man uh just different colors packaging is your typical uh with chew typical foil pouch with the little uh easy zip thing right here which is very convenient i know back in the day that wasn't there i can't imagine <laughs> now if we open the easy zip take a whiff of the scent <laughs> oh yes very nice scent it's sweet, it just smells very sweet, kind of like honey. Honey. <laughs> very nice sweet scent. Oof. Ah! Now if we uh, grab a little with the fingers here, before we put any in, and just kind of feel the leaves. Very sticky on the fingers. It's got a very sticky, uh, leave sticky residue on your fingers. It's got a very stickiness to it. All chews do. This one is a lot sticky, stickier, I think, than Red Man Original Blend. I could be wrong, but I think it is, personally. Now, let's take a clump and stick it in my jaw where it's gonna kill me. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. Maybe a little less and we'll add more. Nah, fuck it. We'll just go for it. Okay. <laughs> Probably got a bunch of shit on my face. Maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> First spit will always have a bunch of leaves and shit in it. Uh, smaller leaves will kind of sneak out. <laughs> there we go. You know, I've always said it, and I still hold this position. Maybe I haven't had enough chews to kind of differentiate, but honestly, this stuff doesn't taste to me too much different than uh, Red Man Original Blend. Um, but it is a little bit sweeter, I think. Maybe a smoother flavor, but a little bit sweeter. It has a great flavor. I love it. Yeah, comparison, like I said, I haven't had a lot of chews in my time. They don't sell beech nut around here. They don't sell, um, what the hell's it called? Levi Garrett around here. They only sell these. Unless there's a, some store way in the fucking archives where they sell it, but I haven't never seen it. And I've been traveling a lot of stores lately. So comparison, Red Man Original Blend. <laughs> Who would have guessed? All right. The texture in the mouth. It really doesn't do too much in there. It doesn't, uh, it really doesn't cause any damage like dip does. I mean, it would over time, but it doesn't like uh, cause your mouth to get raw or anything. So it's not really uh, rugged. I mean, maybe it is a little bit, but not too, too bad. Uh, a mistake that a lot of people make when they uh, try chew is they full out chew it. You can't chew it. You pack it in your lip, part of it outside your teeth, part of it inside, and you slide, and you gnaw on it. You can't fully chew it like gum. Otherwise, it's just gonna fall into a bunch of pieces and it's gonna suck to floss that. Um, it stays it stays together well. It doesn't it doesn't really fall apart unless you chew it too much. Um, I haven't had a problem with it falling apart ever with this or original blend. It stays together right there. Burn. Unlike original blend, which I never really got a burn from, um, this stuff does cause a little bit of a burn in the cheek right here. Whichever cheek you pack it in, it's going to cause a little bit of, bur of a burn on your uh, wa uh, mouth walls here. Um, I find it nice. It's a nice pleasurable feeling. It switches it up a bit for me, being a dipper for the most part. <laughs> Nicotine. Moderate amount. Not a lot, not a little. 
I usually don't feel a lot uh, from it. Um, I don't feel like a head rush unless I take a lot. Like right now, I'm not really feeling anything. If you take like a holy shitload, then you might. But um, for me, I'm not really feeling it much, much, but I know it doesn't like have a tiny bit. So I, I would say a moderate amount. These leaves keep sticking out of my mouth. <laughs> Time for the spit. Uh, with chew, obviously, you get a lot more spit than you do with dip. That's just a given. That's just how chew is. With this stuff, you do get a lot of spit, and it's very dark spit. Um, but I find it doesn't have quite as much spit as Redman Original. Maybe this isn't uh, as fresh as it could be. Um, I don't know for sure. As far as I know, these don't have a date. They do have a code. If this was accurate, uh, code-wise, like the um, like the Grizzly tins or any American Snuff Cove tins, this would have been made in um, or packaged in uh, September 2011, and I really don't think so. Uh, I don't think these codes can be uh, read like the Grizzly tins can be. Because it's not dry, it's not light brown, it's dark, it's not like that much, but... So I don't think it's the freshness, I just don't think that this tip has quite as much spit as original blend. Could be wrong. Freshness, it can be chalked up on a little, lot of that stuff. But good spit. Last ability. This lasts a, a good amount of time. I'm not gonna lie, um, in the past I've been guilty of, you know, <laughs> chewing it harder than you're supposed to, not really gnawing on it. I used to do that. Um, not anymore. So when you don't do that, first of all, you don't have a bunch of shit strewn about your mouth. Second of all, it lasts longer. I would say that this uh, decent-sized chunk, fucking chunk, probably lasts me 25 minutes, a half hour, maybe longer, give or take a little bit. I'm not sure, because it's not nearly dry yet. Aftertaste. Hey, <laughs> um, you know, when it's in there, it's sweet. It almost tastes a little bit like honey, a little bit. And uh, it's very sweet, pleasurable, delicious flavor. When you take it out, that kind of wanes. And uh, when you take it out, you get almost kind of a bitter flavor, actually, I've noticed. So, a little bit of a bitter aftertaste, kind of a nasty aftertaste. Not that hard to get rid, rid of, really. Now it's time to look up the number of subscribers. Okay, as always, I do not have this prep beforehand, even though I should. <laughs> Um, we are up to 6,855 subscribers, so to all of you, again, as I always say, because I really do appreciate it, thank you so much, you all rock. Keep dip bending, and spitting, or chewing, or whatever the fuck. <laughs> okay, so today we only have two shoutouts, actually, because I'm surprised. In my last video, my Stoker's Mint Tub review, uh, not too, too many people asked for shoutouts. So I'm just going to give shoutouts to the people I always do, um, Afro Dipper and Yankee Dipper. They both make great videos, check them out, they're laid back. They, they, you know, they don't just sit there with a the dip and they actually tell you what the dip is like. I like them, please check them out and tell them Joey sent you. You don't have to send them, tell them Joey sent you, but <laughs> check them out. And now it's time for the rating. Like I've said in the past, I'm only an occasional chewer. I do love it every once in a while. Um, and so, you know, I couldn't, I couldn't chew this every day. Same with the original blend, I couldn't. And uh, I like this a little bit less than original blend. Love them both. I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Definitely good. Definitely try it. Uh, it's, it's still a great, great chew. So I highly recommend this stuff. I, I hope you enjoyed the video that you've been waiting for for oh, like fucking two and a half years. Literally. Um, and thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Take care.